game over, more like game on. With Virtual Band's latest Retro Bat build, I wanted to go ahead and do another video kind of playing around with it once I finally got it all set up with the new stable version that everyone else can now have their hands on as of now. And man, is this thing cool. I Like I said, it's very modular. So what that means is you can plug and play any different ROM packs, your own ROM packs or different ROM packs that he has made. You don't need to download a two terabyte folder. You can download, you know, a, a one gigabyte file that gives you all the Super Nintendo games or a one gigabyte file for all the Atari consoles. And so because of that, it's really anything from, you know, a 10, ter a 10 gigabyte build, it's kind of the minimum because of the base, to a two terabyte and beyond. There's talks of Nintendo 3DS, the PlayStation 2 pack, potentially a PlayStation 3 pack one day. Uh, you know, it, the sky is the limit as far as where you can go with this. And the cool thing is that this is based on Retrobat. Emulation Station is more on the front end, so it's very um, typical or familiar if you've been running on the Raspberry Pi 3, but gives you the performance of a PC. And that's exactly what this video is about, is to show you why you might choose this over some of the other options out there, and why this build truly does have a lot of TLC put into it. So let's not just take my word for it, let's have a look. There's a ton of gameplay to show you the type of performance you can expect. Uh, and then uh, also we go through the menu system and check out some of these packs, but um, the way I have it set up right now The fact that there's no rocket launcher and I just boot it up and it's ready to go easy to change emulator cores easy to change controls It really is easy, and I felt like my first video did not Make it seem that easy. It is easy once you're up and running I mean this thing is just set it and forget it at this point I can just drag and drop ROM packs as they come out and as I want to add ROMs to my build, which is a nice, uh, nice feature. So, anyways, uh, I'm sure I'll repeat myself, but uh, let's go ahead and dive into it. Here I am on my B drive. I'll put a link to setting this all up. Your file structure should look something to mine, except for the RetroBliss backups. It's an extra folder that I have of some extra things I haven't added to my build yet. But as you see here, this build is massive. It's close to two terabytes worth of stuff. Everything from GameCube to Atari 3DO and uh, like PlayStation. This is why this build is such a big deal. Look how many PlayStation games. It's got 343 gigs. It's actually really good. These are really compressed games. But if you were just to like grab all these files, uh, I guess there's some that aren't files. But if I remember right, it's something like 1,200 games. Yeah, I'm saying 1,350 here, but there's some games with multiple discs. But there's like 1,200 PlayStation games. So this build is... It's just crazy every game for all your systems from Atari up to GameCube, and it's only getting better and expanding more. With that being said, I wanted to bring up this point of me setting up the, the image. I was setting it up from as if you were to unbox a computer straight from Dell, or you got a brand new computer with nothing on it except a clean boot of Windows 10. A lot of you could skip those steps in his README. He has a whole README here of how to get this thing started. Um, and this is an ever evolving thing, but certain steps like installing your Visual Studio and DirectX, a lot of you have that installed on your computer already, so you skip those two steps. Um, it's really not that hard to set this up, and the reason he does certain things like making junctions is just so every system works. It's, it's, it's more of a sure-proof way to make sure that a lot of systems work versus just a few when you first start up like a build like this with RetroBat. Um, so I'm loving this build so far. In this video, I just want to kind of take a dive in and, and look at the build a little bit more um, and, and give you why you might be interested in this and why it is really cool and all the hard work they put into it. So there, uh, on your V drive, once it's all set up, you do get a shortcut here. The shortcut should work. You just click it and it loads it. Okay, cool. Now the shortcut loads it with the video. Okay, but if you want, let me close out of here. And if you don't want the video, you can literally just load up RetroBat, and it should load it up without the video. Um, or you can, you know, turn off the video. But look how fast that was. And remember, this thing has um, a lot of systems. Like, look at all these systems. I deleted all the uh, all the collections. You could do game collections as well, like all your baseball games or basketball games. But look at all these systems. I'm still going. Is anybody counting? It's basically everything from Atari, including PC game. There it ends right there at Windows to Windows games to 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 all that. It's it's two terabytes worth of games, and it continues to expand. A total of sixteen thousand five hundred and four 
games. And remember, this whole thing is set up based on Virtual Man's ROM packs. So you can pick and choose which systems you want to add. It's, they're literally broken down into per system basis. You could skip the Ataris, you could skip the Jaguar, you could skip a Thomas Wave if you don't want it, okay? Um, so it's very, very easy to customize your own version of this. The reason I like it so much is it reminds, it gives you all the comfort of the Raspberry Pi and emulation station while giving you the performance of a computer and the, and the speed and the customization, but the easeability, how easy it is once you're in here uh, it is great. Now I'm gonna do play some games in a little bit. Uh, remember this thing comes fully loaded with a ton of themes. Floyd is one of my favorite themes, but like there's a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, Hursty's themes actually came over onto Retrobat, which is really cool. And so you have like a lot of these themes you've probably seen on RetroPie before and on V-Man's image. You could easily also go to updates and downloads over here and download additional themes. So for example, a lot of people like Epic Noir, I'm downloading it, look how fast I download it. Boom, extracting, it's gonna be available in just a second. And you can download additional themes for this and it works just fine. The other thing is, um, I'm not showing it here on the screen, but you do get all Virtual Man's post fixes. Look how fast these video snaps load. The post fixes will um, allow you to, if he updates emulators along the way, you can add them. Look how easy it is to change your controllers and add new controls. You just go to controller settings, configure a new controller. You can either as even assign the controllers if you have like four controllers set up on your computer. This is really great because you can tell it like, okay, the Switch controller should be player one, my uh, Neo Geo X arcade stick is number two, my Xbox One controller is player, you're right, you can literally get that all customized, easy to do. It does come with background music, I turned mine off. You can usually turn it on and off here. It should start in a second. There we go, it's already starting. Okay, but we want it off. Look how fast it goes on and off. So we did just download that theme. We go ahead and go back to theme and now we have theme epic noir so here is for example second naomi sg 1000 and you can do the um the themes that come built in that you've seen me do on other builds so you have so much customization you could do with this you know and it's just it really is made modular right so you can pick and choose which packs you want or install your own and it just runs really really well um, there's not a lot of fluff to this. Um, if you, if you even mention the word rocket launcher to me, I'm like, no, thanks. I'm not interested in that. I love what Launchbox has done, what this has done and what CoinOps has done. Each kind of has their own benefit, but what you see here is just so easy. Once, like I said, once you set up those initial steps in his readme, which he literally outlines and I've made a video about it. Uh, it's pretty cool. So without further ado, let's um, just go ahead and play some games, right? Check out this performance. Now I have a pretty high performance computer. It's got a 20 RTX 2060 in it. It's an, it's like a 9th gen i7. Uh, I have plenty of RAM. So, you know, if you have a 1650 or better graphics card and a, you know, i5 or i7 or newer, these, all these games should be no problem whatsoever. But I understand if you have a, um, a lower-end computer, you can still play certain systems like Super Famicom, but when it comes to like Nintendo, uh, you know, GameCube, you might have some lag, and that's just that's system specific. It's not necessarily specific to Retrobat. Retrobat itself will run on pff, basically anything, like a freaking even. I bet it would run on a ten-year-old computer, you know, eight, ten-year-old computer. I bet this would run. It doesn't require much. So, anyways, uh, let's go and play some games. <laughs> Without mercy. Duh. Oof. 
007 is a game that doesn't run really well. Let's even just take Killer Instinct Gold, which lags on the Raspberry Pi 4. Look at that, running good in HD. Look at that, res. It's great. Very appropriate for Christmas. game that lags like hell on a lot of single board computers, but because we're on PC here, it's going to work great. Yeah. And then you go to settings here, you can see it's running Vulkan, GeForce RTX, frame skipping off, and we're at 4X. We can easily bump this up to like 8 this system. Alright. Continue. Lag spike there. I, I must return fire. Let's return that fire, baby. Looks really good.
Let's do it. Yeah, with no music, this is kind of... Uh... Okay. it to jump up. There we go. There we go. It's bricks. Oh, we need a T. Where's the T at? Is it all the way up at the top? Oh, there it is. Got skate. Yeah, you. Yeah. Oh,
record your progress. good <clears throat> start select out exit dolphin gets you back into the home screen all right so in conclusion look how crazy this build is amazing stuff everything you got in the uh 512 gigabyte build of raspberry pi except look how fast you know these load the video snaps load and faster than raspberry 4 does Four does the themes. You can literally go to UI settings, download a theme immediate, or you know, change your theme super fast. If you want to get more themes, I just switched it. Um, if you want to get more themes, you can easily just go to updates and downloads, and then there's a bunch of uh, themes and bezel projects you could just download um, by you know installing different ones. But there's lots here. Um, you can manually install some. You can easily change your game collections. I turned them off. You can add like little collection of all the Batman games or all the baseball games if you have a particular collection you like. Virtual Man's going to continually update this thing. So you know when newer versions of Dolphin come out or people find better emulators for certain games. You know, for example, with Nintendo uh, Game Boy Advance, there's like six or seven really good emulators. You can decide which one's the best. With arcade games, you can see which Libretro Core is the best for each game. Uh, you can even for PSP, you know, change resolutions per game depending on uh, you know which games run better depending on the resolutions. He added the ports uh, when I got the beta, the ports weren't on here yet. So all these ports, um, these really cool, a lot of them DOS games, but a lot of different stuff on there, even though Zelda games are added. All the same open beats of rage. But the big thing added are these PC games, which you'll have the PC game pack, which is just amazing. Command and Conquer, Diablo 2, Half-Life HD. Uh, Diablo 2 is an HD pack as well. Um, and then as this gets better, as he produces more packs, I'm hope I'm really hopeful he does a Nintendo 3DS pack. Uh, he can he adds onto a PS2 pack. Right now he only I only have two games. The pack's not out yet, or it will be very shortly. Same thing with Wii. I just have Punch Out, but there's a whole Wii pack. But like the other packs, you have every single game, like every single Nintendo 64 game. Um, Sega Saturn pack coming out soon with all your Sega Saturn games. And because this is being played on a PC, you can play Kronos, which is one of the preferred emulators for Sega Saturn. Naomi already has the huge pack that I've showed off that is also on the Raspberry Pi. Model 3 games coming up as well. Sega Model 2 games coming up as well. A new pack for that. And the Raspberry Pi 4 just simply can't emulate those. Same thing with Nintendo GameCube packs coming out soon. So all those packs are going to be very welcomed. Everything else, Daphne, Thomas Wave, Naomi can already play on the Pi, but Jaguar is another system that plays better on a PC than it does on the Raspberry Pi. Um, and then also 3DO plays a lot better. It's just really great. So there you have it. If you want like a really well done out build, this is it. Now, just to be, you know, look at the uh, other options out there, CoinOps, uh, LaunchBox, uh, just, just a flat out emulation station build. There's pros and cons to each of them. I don't think there's one clear winner. Um, also, if you're just a person who's like, oh, this is missing this pack, or, you know, like I said, 
uh, Nintendo uh, uh, 3DS or, um, you know, there's certain arcade systems like uh, Techno Parrot or, or Tato X or whatever else that's out there. I'm sure he'll work on this uh, more and more and add those on, but currently it doesn't have that. And then you hear about these like 12 terabyte and 18 terabyte builds. And I don't think this is what he's looking for the here. So if you do want that, there's like lots of uh, hyperspin builds that, that, that do that. Um, and, and that's not what this one is. So uh, if you're a newbie and you're just watching, this looks cool, right? It is cool. It's well set up. It works really well once you get it going. And it, it's a really good emulation experience. But I just want to let everyone know that there are other options out there. I, you know, Virtual Man and his team did a lot of work on this, and I know they'll continue to update it. So it's definitely a worthy contender, and it's definitely worth checking out. And that's where I'll leave it because at this point, it's a very solid build. I like what it offers, and the addition of the new ROM packs and the PC games, and you know, being on a PC, you get better, uh, you know, uh, components. So you get to take the advantage of that. Uh, that's it for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That's what I think. Let me know, let me know what you all think, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.